next is uh, fault identification fault identified from the fault table so in the previous lecture we discussed about this fault table so in our fault table we discussed now from this fault table we need to find out uh, something that is fault identified from the fault table what are the different types of fault which we identified from the fault table okay that we should identify so look at here a0 b0 c0 column are same so there is the three sa0 second zero fault are equal in default or indistinguishable fault that means look at here <coughs> A0, B0, C0, column. You have to use the test variables input. A0, B0, C0 output is always the same. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Consider this column, this column, this column. Always A0, B0, C0. These three are equal. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Always this column, this column, this column. Always A0, B0, C0 is equal. For, for all the test variables, you give any test variable inputs, always you will get A0, B0, C0 equal. Okay. So such a kind of uh, uh, fault columns where S, this happens for stuck at 0. For stuck at 1, it is different. Okay. Stuck at 0, stuck at 1 is different. Stuck at 0 is the same one. Now we can do A0, B0, C0 columns are same. So the three stuck at 0 fault are called equivalent or indistinguishable fault. Hmm? Stuck at 0 fault. A0, B0, C0 is stuck at 0 fault. These three faults are called this A0, B0, C0. These three faults are called indistinguishable fault or equivalent fault. Okay. Similarly, consider this column, C1, D1 column, C for C1 always 1, D1 is always 1, that means C1 equal to D1, here C1, D1 equal, 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 always C1, D1 equal for all the test variables, so C1, D1 is always equal, so we can call it as C1 and D1 for stuck at 1 fault is always called indistinguishable or equivalent fault, clear? Another one is so that's about SA1. Second one fault on C1 and D1 line are same. So C1 and D1 are also called indistinguishable or equivalent fault. Next is uh, dominant fault or strong fault. What is dominant fault? See when S stuck at zero fault occurs at the input of a AND gate. It forces the output of AND gate to zero irrespective of what happens on the other input. Hence, stuck at zero fault at input of AND gate is determinant or strong, uh, sorry, dominant or strong fault. We call it as dominant or strong fault. That means, consider this. Consider this AND gate. Okay, if one of the input of AND gate is zero, irrespective of the other input or output of always uh, AND gate is always zero. Okay, right. That's why it is written in stuck at zero fault occurring at the input of AND gate. It forces the output of AND gate to zero, irrespective of what happens to the other input. See. If you have a zero, you can use zero stack. So, we have to use stack at zero. At A, that is A zero. That means A is zero zero stack. This is output of the 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 output the output of 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 output of the output of output of the output of the output of the so, this is the dominant and strong fault. If you have a fault, and you have a input, you have a fault, and you have a dominant fault. Next is weak fault. SA1 at one input of 
S A one at one of the input alone of an AND gate cannot force the output of AND gate to one. See now, go. Suppose you put an AND gate in the other group input. Suppose B B and what are another one must check I correct one. We are keeping B. We can call it as B one. Okay. B and what are another line one must check I correct one. अब ये बुरा वन ना करने दो उन दो मात्रा ना हम का ओपन टू वन ना होता है एंजिन डिपेंडिंग है ये सीरो ना डिपेंडिंग है ये ऐसा वो ये लाइन ए ना वाला ना लाइन ले डिपेंडिंग है बुरा सीरो वेरना एंसरेच बुरा सीरो आना वन ना आना वेरना एंसरेच टा ओपन टू चेंज ही है ना तो बुरा वन ना वन ना तो Ibuaya ini kait lembu itu, na adzan search dari ke output itu beri. Ibuaya warna kerak na itu bende, itu beri kan orang. Karena anda ini warna ini, orang kiri dengan output ini, anda orang change yang ala capacity lah. Ibuaya change yang besar. Ibuaya ibuaya dengan input ini change. And get ni perhati kita. But zero orang kita, ibuaya zero mana ini? Yang zero itself can control the output. So this one is called weak fault. Ini consider for OR gate, OR gate ni dekis lengan apa? How to consider? Consider for OR gate. If a zero is stuck at here, okay, a zero ibu dah stuck kai. Suppose ibu dah one came, what will happen? Output is one. If zero came, output is zero. So here, zero is the weak fault, right? Stuck at zero. Karena ni ibu dah zero stuck kai kerja ana. Apa? Adatnya gate length itu berenda, adanya sesuatu yang terjadi kalau output changes on dah. Here zero is checked, so it cannot changes the output. It always depends on the other input. If one is came, output is one. If zero came, output is zero. So this is weak fault. Suppose instead of zero, if one is here, checked to one is here, that means D one. If checked to one is here at this line, so irrespective of the other input, output is always one. Okay, if there is zero one, then there is one one, then there is output up to one. There is one. Because now there is one one stuck. Why is that? So one input of one gate or gate is one. Then always the output is one, irrespective of the other input. So we can call it as he is very strong. So this fault is strong fault. That is stuck at one fault at D is always strong fault. Okay. For OR gate, SA0 is the weak fault, SA1 fault is the dominant fault or strong fault. Okay. Next is fault cover table that we will discuss in the next lecture.